Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today I'm going to be making a comparison video talking about some popular, let's say, pre-algebra and up math curriculums. So the math programs that I'm researching are ones that have a teacher online who could teach the math to my daughter and just kind of guide her through the process. I have a daughter who is going to be starting pre-algebra next year and I wanted to pick something that she could start for pre-algebra and just continue through the rest of her math years. So I'm going to be talking about seven different math programs that have come up in my research and just over the years that have piqued my interest as far as something that I might have my daughter start out next year. I will say that these math programs are all math programs that have an online component. They all have a teacher teaching the math. They may or may not have physical workbook that comes with it, just depends on the program. And I'm just going to be comparing a few different categories for all these math programs from price to what it includes to if there's a family membership and things like that. And I'm going to be showing you these different math programs, the websites, and just walking you through a few of the questions that I wanted answered for myself. So I've done all this research, and from this research, I'm going to have my daughter try out a few of these math programs starting next week, over the next few weeks, just to see which one she enjoys the most. So stick around to the end to find out which three that I'm choosing for her to give a try based on my criteria and what I'm looking for in a math program. All right, so here is my spreadsheet with all the information I'm going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to be looking at CTC Math, Mr. D Math, Denison Math, Thinkwell Math, Saxon with Nicole the Math Lady, Shoreman Math, and Teaching Textbooks. And I have all the tabs open up here at the top. And I'm going to be talking about the grade levels that are available, the level of intensity. This is based on just my research, so don't take my word for it, but this is what I feel based on my research, what it includes, if it has automatic grading, extras, if there are any extras, notes, additional notes, sample lessons. Are there access to sample lessons, the price, and is there a family membership discount? And then I have a web link here. So let's go ahead and look at the first one, CTC Math. Now I'm organizing these based on price. So I'm going from the most expensive option down to the least expensive option, though there are some in between that get a little muddled there in between. So CTC math is for grades K through 12. So this is the only one I think that I'm looking at. Nope, some other ones go further down to maybe third grade, but this is the only one that talks about K to 12th grade math. You can sign up for a four week trial. And when you sign up for CTC math, it is going to be good for all of the levels. So you can put your kid at any level. You can change your child at any level at any point. I would say the level of intensity is average. There are online lessons and there is monthly or yearly plan. So here are the prices for CTC math. $29.97 per month or $1.97 for 12 months or family membership of any amount of kids, $39.97 or $2.97 for 12 months. So I would say if you had a lot of kids, this would actually be a pretty good price. But as far as single membership goes, $1.97 is quite high for one student. But it could be very inexpensive if you had lots of kids. So basically CTC math, you go here to sign up for the free trial. You would enter your name, your email address and all that. And this is what I would be doing if I'm trying out CTC math. I'll let you know at the end which few that I'm going to have my daughter try out and why I'm choosing to do those. So let's go here to how it works. So they say, learn at your own pace, not somebody else's. Stop and rewind the teacher until you get it. Build confidence, 24 seven unlimited access when you want it. Catch up or get ahead. Start getting better grades. Now, this is the only website that I saw marketed not only to homeschoolers, but really to just kids that are struggling in school. It's kind of talked about more like as an add-on. They do have some videos that you could watch to learn more about CTC math. And basically there are video lessons and then they have 
like here it says interactive questions and worksheets, summaries of what you're learning. You can see the answers to your work. And then there is marking and reports, so online grading. And so that's CTC Map. I've heard a lot about it. There are some families that use it for all their kids and it works well. So the next one I have here is Mr. D Map. Now I have heard so many rave reviews about Mr. D Map on Facebook and in homeschool groups. So many people have talked about Mr. D Math, so I definitely needed to check this out and share with you what I found here. So Mr. D Math not only has math, but they also have a lot of other courses, as you can see here. They have other subjects that you could look at if you're interested, but I'm focusing on math right now, and I'm not focusing on live courses, which they do have. I'm focusing on self-paced courses because I want an online class for my daughter, but I don't need it to be like live. So I'm actually, when I clicked on this, I'm actually in the demo, I believe. I signed up for the demo. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. So my page might look a little different, but it does have the same information. I'm a little confused by this. It says one time cost of $217. And then if you go down here, oh, the prices have changed. So I will say that when I looked at these before, it was $197. So that changes a little bit. My, I'll have to change my spreadsheet. It said... 217 up here and then it's 197. So they must have changed the price recently and just forgot to change the bottom part when I was looking at it. So when you sign up for a Mr. D math class, you will get year round. So you can start it at any point. However, if you signed up, it sounds like if you signed up after March 1st, you could almost have it for almost two years because you will get it for one full year plus until like March 1st. So you can get extra, I think it talks about here. So if you registered in December 1st, you would have it until the next December 1st, but then you will actually have it until March 1st of the following year. So you can get up to two years if you sign up around March 2nd or something like that, you would get two years. So there's pre-recorded lessons, computer graded quizzes, tests, and exams, a pacing chart to help you finish it in 34 weeks if that's what you want to do. You have access to a live teacher three times a week. So there are extra help sessions that your child has access to if they are having a problem with math and daily email support. So that comes with a lot there. They cover preparing for algebra. So pre-pre-algebra all the way up to calculus one. And they have consumer math too, if that's something you're interested in. So that looks actually interesting. I might be considering something like that for some of my kids. So one of my questions on my spreadsheet is, is there a sample lesson? Yes, there is. It's a little hard to find. And let me see, I don't know if I can show you how to find it exactly here because I'm already in the demo, but you can sign up for a demo. And I recommend you definitely do that because when you sign up for the demo, you will actually get a coupon code for 20% off this course. So for me, that makes a huge difference. That is like $40 off this course. It makes Mr. D Math more comparable to the other math programs that I was looking at. So originally I wasn't even going to, like I, I just saw the price and I was like, well, it's, it's something I've heard about and I'm interested in it, but it's just, it's one on the higher, higher range there. But with that 20% off coupon, it definitely puts it more in the category of just in, in the category with other math courses that I'm looking at. I have not been able to find a family membership, so I don't know if there's any discounts for family members. I would definitely check with them if you did have a sibling who was going to join, but I did not see anything about that on Mr. D Math. All right, so I would say the level of intensity for Mr. D Math is average. Now let's go to the next one, Denison Math. So I've been hearing, oh, actually Denison Algebra but they do have pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and advanced algebra and trig. Now I have heard a lot about Denison algebra more recently, um, mostly for struggling math students. So I was reading up on their page and it does say something about good for non-mathy students. So this is really interesting for me, for one of my other children in the future. It wasn't on my radar before, but it has come onto my radar recently, and the fact that it is considered a math program that will help 
students who struggle with math is really attractive to me. So those are the courses that they have. As far as the prices, I'm just gonna go in here. So here, if you go to about, it will talk more about Denison algebra. And here it talks about how kids who hate algebra might start to like it more. And so it looks like every lesson is, well, the video is 15 to 20 minutes. So that's not too long. Notes on the screen. And they do have samples. Let me look at pre-algebra and see what it says. So textbook, it says textbook. So the student will get a textbook that is consumable and it's spiral bound. So you will be getting a physical textbook with this. A lot of the other ones like CTC Math does not come with a physical book. It might have like PDF downloads, but not a physical book. So this has chapter tests and solutions, sounds like a physical book and a parent guide. And then down here, you can see sample lessons. So they have lesson video, and then they have textbook notes, solutions video, sample solutions page. So you can go ahead if you are interested in Denison Algebra and take a look at these videos and what might come with Denison Algebra course. All right, one last thing before I leave here. Um, there access would be for one full year. I don't know exactly, like, it, I think it's probably when you start, it starts one full year. All right, let's go on to another one, which I have not heard a lot about in Facebook groups, homeschool Facebook groups. I actually heard about this company last year. They did reach out to me to ask if I was interested in getting a free course for a child in my homeschool in exchange for a review. And I said no at the time because I already had my math picked out and I didn't want to overload my child, but that put this on the radar for me. And so I decided to go and take a look at this while I was comparing math. They have a 14 day trial. They have grade six math up to trigonometry. And they also have honors courses for all of those. So I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like they have some other courses too. Um, I'm not sure what that means exactly. I think it's just probably more challenging than their regular courses, but they have a large variety of things as well. They have a lot of really great reviews. When I've done research, um, I've seen good reviews for ThinkWell Math. All right, so when you sign up for a course, you have access to it for one year. I have heard that ThinkWell Homeschools Math is a little more advanced. So I'm gonna say that the level of intensity is advanced. Though I don't know if they were talking about the honors classes or the regular classes, but in general, I feel like it's probably more on the advanced side. Let's look at pre-algebra, because that is what I'm looking at. So the pre-algebra course is 159. So that's comparable with Mr. DMath on the discount. It comes with 18 hours of video instruction, downloadable notes and worksheets, access on mobile, exams, quizzes, and thousands of exercises, 12 months of unlimited access, certificate of completion and grade report. And it does grade. Um, then there's optional other things you could do like live office hours, printed quiz and answer key, printed worksheets, printed notes. So those are all add-ons. Now I did go and look at these videos and I was actually very impressed with the teacher and the examples that he gave. I felt like it was explained very clearly, um, the one that was I was looking at. So I mean, for something that I haven't heard a lot about, I was actually more impressed than I expected to be. And I kind of feel like like for, for these lessons, the videos are broken up into more five minute segments versus like 20 and longer. And I feel like my daughter just appreciates more concise things. Um, she wants to get her math done. She doesn't love math. She doesn't want to spend all day on it. She just wants to get it done. And so shorter videos that explain things simply, but in a quicker manner really works for her. So I'm pretty impressed with this program from what I've seen. I am not being paid to say this right now. I am hoping that if she chooses to sign up for this, maybe we will get a deal. Maybe they'll give us a course in exchange for our honest review as we're going through it, but pretty impressed with it. Um, the only thing that holds me back a little bit is it's somewhere I read, it says to plan on spending one to one and a half hours a day on math. I think for us, one hour on math is definitely the limit. And for her, she would be 
really pretty unhappy if she had to spend an hour on math. She's used to getting things done quickly. So like 45 minutes might be kind of her max. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how accurate that amount is and if that might be for more struggling students and some students might do it faster, I don't know. Okay, so that's Thinkful Math. Let's move on to Nicole the Math Lady. You've probably heard about Nicole the Math Lady if you've watched YouTube videos. Um, basically, she teaches Saxon math. So she can start, if you go to um, pricing, I think go down here, it will show you all the things. So she starts at math three and she has lessons all the way to some books I don't even know about. I, I've never seen these before, but so up to advanced mathematics and these books. So she basically does lessons for the student to follow along and then they work in their Saxon math workbooks. So I would say the level of intensity is average Saxon math. It's a good solid math program. Lots of people love it. I did not like it. As a homeschool child myself, I think I started in Algebra 1. I probably did Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 with Saxon math. I remember not really liking it, but I did learn math, I suppose, um, and I never thought I'd be going to Saxon math. However, I am open to that if that is the way my daughter would like to learn. It is very different from what she has been doing, teaching textbooks. So I'm willing to let her try it out if she's interested. So very solid math program. I will say that my friend did say she did Saxon math until like calculus. And then when she did calculus in college, she had a harder time because Saxon does not do a lot of application, math application. It's just very solid on just the basics and so not so much the application of the math. So I don't love that. But anyways, so you can get just the videos. Let's go here. Just the videos. Or you can also get online grading, which I love. Um, with four kids, I definitely want some online grading. So it's a little bit more for that. So let me see. Um, I'm going to just look at the pricing here. So single student starts at 59. That would just be without the online grading. Family would be 99. And let me take a look at my notes. That is two to five students. If you have six plus students, then you would be going up a little bit more. But let's take a look at single student. So you would have to purchase the book. So we are doing, I have algebra one half. That's what she would be doing. So then you would, I just have my notes here. So it would be for this book, for example, 59 for just videos, 79 for the online grading, and I said add about 100 for the textbook. So 159, once again, that's the same as Thinkwell Math and very similar to Mr. D Math with that 20% off. So it's all kind of in that range. All right, next let's move on to Shorman Math. I have also heard a lot about Shorman Math. I have heard that it is quite advanced. I have heard that it is very, just pretty, pretty intense. I have heard that is excellent and that students really learn a lot, even about like note taking. And it's just really a college prep type of math. Also what makes Shorman Math different from all the other math programs that I've mentioned here is it is very biblically based. Okay, so this is what I've heard, right? The teacher talks about God in math and God's creation and how God, yeah, how God created math and how that applies to math. So I feel like there's probably a lot of application in Shorman math. You can go ahead and look at videos and he will talk about God in the intro video and things like that. So it comes with video instruction for every lesson, interactive homework, quizzes and exams, auto grading, grade recording, online grade book, video solutions for every homework question, Q&A with Dr. Shorman, self-paced course. Um, and also what is unusual about Shorman Math is if you complete Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, you will also get a geometry credit because geometry is integrated into that. So Algebra 1 would be Algebra 1 and half of geometry. Algebra 2 would be Algebra 2 and half of geometry. So if you have a child who's very interested in math and wants to have more time to complete like all the math lessons and they're ready for a rigorous math program, this would be a great option for you. So they start at pre-algebra and this is where they talk about the credits and it goes up to calculus one. Now, as far as what I saw when I looked at the 
videos and things like that. I think the videos were a little too dry, a little too slow, a little too long for my daughter. I would love for her to love this, but she is, I'm not going to say she's not mathy. She does know her math. It's not hard for her, but she doesn't love math. So I feel like for someone who doesn't love math, this might not be the right program for her. So price-wise, it's $99 for pre-algebra and $139 after that. And there are family discounts available. So Shorman Math, heard a lot of good things about it. Sounds like a very solid math program. Very good for kids who are maybe more into math. And if you're looking for a math that has a Christian perspective and all that, this could be the math for you. All right, finally, let's go and look at teaching textbooks. This is definitely the most inexpensive of all the math programs. Three of my children have been using teaching textbooks the past three years. The daughter I'm talking about right now, she's in Math 7. It's going fine. The reason why I am looking at other math programs right now is, I think I mentioned it, I just want her to find something that really works for her learning style and that she could use to continue on with her math. So let's go to teaching textbooks. If you're not familiar with teaching textbooks, there is a debate out there talking about if it's behind. It is simple. I would say a lot of second graders or the middle of second grade, you're probably ready to start on math three. So it is simple. However, that being said, my children are learning. They're moving forward. They get, they're advancing. I think it's kind of the same as the, the Saxon math as far as a not a not a lot of life application or math application. There are a lot of the same questions over and over again. So I don't know, they will learn the basics of math, but maybe not exactly how to apply the math. I have no problem with my daughter continuing to use teaching textbooks for the remainder of her middle school and high school years. And mainly because, like I said, she does not love math. She is very capable if, I don't know, she has a very, like she's very spatially aware, like she could become a, like an engineer if that's something she'd be interested in, but I don't see her looking at that right now. And if she wanted to do that, she could just learn the math that she needed to learn to get there. So I think for her right now, she just wants to get it done and out of here. So because she is not super into math, I don't think she's going to go into science and math in the future. I'm fine with her doing teaching textbooks until she graduates or until she's done all her math credits. So that's fine. So yeah, we enjoy teaching textbooks. I don't even know if she wants to change from teaching textbooks. It's going to be an option for her. Um, I have done a pros and cons video about teaching textbooks. So I'll link that below if you want to learn more about what teaching textbooks is like. But basically it is online. There is a lecture at the beginning. My kids use their tablet. You can use the computer or the tablet. They use the tablet. The teacher talks to the students. There's no person on there. It's just a computer voice, not computer voice, but a person talking and showing examples on the tablet. And then the student will have the questions that they answer straight on the tablet. It is not great for being able to skip certain questions or to skip ahead or back. It, so it's a little like you can't just say, oh, you know that you can skip that. I mean, you could, but it's just not easy to do that. Also, my kids really need physical, they need to write things down physically, and you can purchase a textbook to go with the program, so it'll have all the same questions on in a book, a workbook that you can work through. So that has really helped us with teaching textbooks to have that, and they have that through all the years. It's just an extra purchase. So if you don't want to purchase that workbook, it is $72.95 for pre-algebra. It is very inexpensive. And it works for a lot of students and a lot of parents. And I guess if you had to, if you had to add that workbook on there, then that would be more. I believe there are printable PDFs, though. I'm not exactly sure if they go along, like if they're extra practice or if, if they're the same things that they have in their lesson. So I'm not sure on that. But yeah, so it could be inexpensive. It could be a little more if you have to purchase the workbook. However, they also do have a large family discount. So let's take a look at that. If you have four to eight children, I don't see any other math program that allows you to have up to eight children on that subscription for this price. So I think it depends on the math courses that is worth it. If you have four kids in certain math programs, like usually the upper math programs, 
But if you have five or more kids, you would definitely just want to get this family membership cost. So something that I'm including now that I'm editing, I forgot to mention is that you can have 15 lessons of any level for free and you don't have to include a credit card number or anything like that. So if you want to try out teaching textbooks, you can choose any of the levels and do the first 15 lessons for free. So that could be almost a month of free lessons, depending on how often you do math. I will say that the beginning of course is always review. So I wouldn't say that if it's really, really easy for your child, that it's too easy based on that. However, if your child is good at math, definitely go try a level up because I find that it's just, yeah, my child who's better at math is, is a level up from the grade that she would be in. Whereas my struggling students are more on grade level for teaching textbooks. So of course, now that I'm editing, I realized that I didn't ask people to share if they have any experience with any of these curriculum. Of course, I'm just sharing what I have heard from Facebook groups and what I see on the website here. I haven't had any experience with any of them except for teaching textbooks. So if you have used any of these programs for, I would say any grade, but particularly in pre-algebra and up, please do share in the comments below how it went for you, if it worked, if it didn't, what was the struggles if it didn't work, and if it helped your child, why do you think that is? That would be such helpful information for everyone watching this video. So thank you if you do include comments. And if you have any questions, do put them down there as well. I will try to answer any questions that I can, but maybe other people will be able to answer questions if they've used the program before. So those are seven popular math programs that I've heard about and I just really was interested in researching and finding more about. So the three math programs that I decided to have my daughter try out are Nicole the Math Lady with the Saxon textbook, Think Well Math, and Mr. D Math. So I'm going to have her look those over. She is still going to be able to have the option of choosing teaching textbooks if that is something she wants to continue with. I just wanted to give her some more options if that is not something she wanted to continue with. Basically, I made my other choices based on price. As you know, teaching textbooks is the cheapest. The other three cheapest ones are Nicole the Math Lady and then Think Well Math. I actually was pretty impressed with that one and I think she would really like this the short video lessons that are included. So I was really impressed with that when I was looking that over. So that was on the cheaper end as far as these math programs go. And then Mr. D Math was actually something that I've been aware of for a long time and I thought that that would be probably what we would move into. When I saw the price, I saw that it was on the higher end for these math programs. So it kind of ruled it out for me until I found that 20% off coupon. So with that 20% off coupon, it does lower the price and makes it more reasonable. So that's going to be an option for us this year as well. So I'll let you know how things go. Of course, I'll let you know what she picks in the end. In a few months, I will be sharing all my curriculum picks for the upcoming school year, and that will definitely be included. Hopefully we have decided on one by then. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to see homeschooling tips and tricks. And I'm going to be talking a lot more about homeschooling middle schoolers and high schoolers in the upcoming year. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would join me. So I am linking in the description box below a link to the spreadsheet that I created for this video with just the information that I used to talk over these different programs and go through the different categories that I was researching. So if you look in the description box below, there will be a link to the spreadsheet so you can print it off for yourself or just look it over further. If you can't remember what I said about different programs, it's all going to be on that spreadsheet. Thanks for watching today and I hope this video was helpful. Please do share it if you have friends who are looking into math curriculums for middle school and up. Hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.